Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers. And in this video, we're going to be solving a system with complex numbers. You probably solved linear systems with real numbers and real variables. In this case, we're going to be looking at what happens if we have complex coefficients or variables, whatever you want to call it, right? And I'll be presenting two methods almost as always because I like to present alternatives and I know some people are like get it over with 15 seconds whatever I can do it in five seconds that's not the point the point is sharing a solution and helping you guys hopefully learn something and I always learn from you guys from your comments so keep up the good work all right let's get started so we have this system and one of the things that's kind of tempting is to add these up obviously right if you add them up you're going to get z plus w and then z plus w multiplied by i and you're going to get something nice on the right hand side and from there you can immediately find z plus w but what's the point that just may, gives you another equation which you have to solve for so it's not really super duper helpful but i guess if you want it you can call it third method or come up with your own so i'm going to start with the first method right i mean who starts with the second method right well, that's cyber math. Anyways, sometimes a plus pi. So let's set z equal to a plus pi and w equal to c plus di. Unfortunately, we have to use other letters as well. And now if you plug it in, you're gonna get something like this, a plus pi plus c plus di multiplied by i equals three plus two i. And here, if you distribute, you're gonna get a plus pi plus ci plus di squared equals three plus two i i squared is wait a minute did you forget it's negative one come on that's the most important thing you should never ever forget that so that's a negative d so we have a minus d and then we can factor these out like i times c b plus c or i can write b plus c first that's my kind of preference b plus c i and that equals three plus two i when are two complex numbers equal when the real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal so we got this equality three and two three and two great let's come up with another equation that kind of brings two equations and then we'll put it all together okay and that comes from the second equation w is c plus di so we have c plus di plus z multiplied by i remember that and that was i you forgot okay Always have your notes with you if you are forgetful like me. A lot of times I forget to do things. Like I say, I'm going to show you the graph and I forget to show it. Anyways, so let's distribute. Uh, this gives us C plus Ti plus Ai, not artificial intelligence, maybe, minus plus Bi squared equals I. Let's do it the same way. This is negative one. You remember that? C minus B plus D plus A times I equals I. Great. Now we have the same thing. Wait a minute. There's nothing real on the right hand side. So it's zero. Come on. You can make it disappear, right? And it's supposed to be one. So we're going to put all these equations together. A minus D is equal to three. And then B plus C is equal to two. And then C minus B is equal to zero. And D plus A is equal to one. I trust you guys. You can definitely solve the system. But think about it this way. Take these two first. Add them up. B cancels out. Two C equals two. 2, 2c, two or not 2c, that's the problem, c equals 1, b equals 1, and then from these two, if you add them up, d cancels out, 2a equals 4, a equals 2, and d equals negative 1. Let's put it together, z equals a plus bi, bi is 1, i, and w is c plus di, and that's 1 minus i, great. Is that the solution set? Yes, and the solution is unique. Cool. All right, great, uh, but it's rather long, right? I mean, that's our general method. If you get an equation or a system, multiple equations, and you're trying to solve for some variable like z or w, some complex number, almost always, I think maybe all the time, who knows, replace z with a plus pi, or if you have more than one, c plus di, so on and so forth. Especially when you get a problem like z plus absolute value of z equals blah, 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 you can fill in the blanks, definitely definitely z equals a plus bi is gonna work is there another way to do this i don't know i don't think so but i could be wrong right but definitely this is our general method for solving these kinds of equations you can have the modulus you can have the argument so on and so forth so many other things 
and different flavors. But this is a little long. That's why it's the first method. And obviously the second method is much nicer, right? Hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick. We have Z plus W I equals three plus two I and W plus Z I equals I. By the way, remember, I told you at the very beginning, if you add these equations, you're gonna get something like Z plus W plus Z plus W I equals three plus three I. And for me, immediately you get this three. What does that mean? I don't know. You still have to use one of the other equations, which is more work, right? But anyways, you can approach it that way too, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the shortest. Okay, wh what happened to my dot? Uh-oh, I'm touching with the eraser, the magical uh, touch. Okay, so here we go. This is my eye, the new color. So now, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to use elimination. Wait a minute, this just reminds me, there's a third way to do it for sure, besides the adding the equations directly. There's a better way to do it. Should we talk about it? Maybe after this, if I don't forget, okay? I'm, I'll try to remember the third method, okay? Gotta show you. I wasn't planning to do it, but it just occurred to me now. I'm okay, looking at this equation, yes, I can do it. So, we're gonna use elimination. How do we eliminate one of these variables? We're gonna do hocus pocus, okay? Not really, we're gonna do math. So here's how we can do it. Looking at this equation, first, what do you wanna eliminate? What do you want to get rid of? I want to get rid of W because W is another complex number. I like Z because Z is A plus B I, right? My main thing. So let's multiply the second equation by negative I. Of course, it has to be everywhere and then I can get rid of it. So now, let's rewrite these equations. Z plus W I equals three plus two I. Normally, I would do it like this. I put it on the side, but I don't have room and I'm too lazy to erase everything. So this gives us negative IW minus ZI squared equals negative I squared. But wait a minute, I squared is negative one. So come on, turn this into one, we already know that, and turn this into plus Z, right? That's a plus Z, okay, that's a little better. Now, notice that if you add these equations, WI is going to cancel. IW and WI are the same, by the way. Z plus Z is 2Z, or not 2Z, that's awesome. 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2I. Divide by 2, Z equals 2 plus I as before. Seriously? We got the same answer before? Of course we did. Now, that's Z. To find W, you can just plug it in, right, into one of these equations. And let me just tell you, without further ado, W is going to be 1 minus I. Okay, I remembered, yes. We were gonna talk about the third method. You have time? Okay, Stare, stick around. The third method, because the second method kind of gave me the inspiration, and we don't have to finish it up, guys, come on. I can give you the outline and you can finish the rest, because I know some people have not much time. We have to leave, right, for other things. So here's the thing. I use elimination for the second method. That reminded me, why can't I use substitution? Absolutely. So isolate Z from the first equation. You get three plus two I minus W I, and then throw it into the second equation. We have a Z, plug it in there and you'll get the answer. Let's do it real quick. W plus Z I, Z is three plus two I minus W I, and now multiply by I, that equals I. a lot of I's, right? Okay, pair of I's, maybe a triple. Now, or oh, quadruple, anyways. Distribute, the only variable is a W, and you get the W twice because this is gonna give you W. You see that? Hopefully you do. And then just solve for it. And the rest is easy. Come on, this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye bye.